I will try and emulate the style of Jason aka Fuji Hunter, an American photographer and now recently on YouTube. He produces images that are mostly colorful, symmetrical house corners, sometimes images of cars, and as we will get into, the backside of old factories or different workplaces. I picked Jason as my first to emulate because he has been an inspiration to my work. I did my research with Bay, as she has a better photographical eye and understanding of art in general. Together. I think we did a decent job dissecting the style of the hunter. first day I found an old factory out of use and I spent about an hour with the main focus on lines and the use of blue sky. a place where blue skies ain't that prominent at this time of the year. I was pretty nervous as that seemed to be an important ingredient in Jason's recipes. Luckily, the weather all the three days were super, clear blue skies and I got only myself to blame if this fails big time. But the weather was not the crisis in this story. I simply could not figure out how to get my edits anything near Mr. Hunter style. I tried different presets, even the Hanser failed me on this one. I face planted big time, as I was pretty stoked on some of the images I made. I wasn't there at all with the edits. After two, three hours in depression mode, and a couple YouTube edit videos later, I finally found something. You see, Jason has recently started his own YouTube channel, and as I watched his work, I noticed he had some live videos out. And yes, they're all about how he does his edits. With these new inputs, I managed to pull out some edits that I feel look similar-ish. And as this whole idea is to give props and learn about photography in the process, I'm pretty satisfied with the results. After three days thinking of someone else's work, it's really good to be back with your own. I took with me some new knowledge I'll use in my own frames, and this is really important for me. I love photography, 
and learning new things are my favorite thing to do. I went from this shooter to a better shooter. And to me, this is a celebration worthy. Thank you, Jason, aka Fuji Hunter, for all of your inspiring work. And when I feel this beaten, like I did in the edit, I need to keep the cool head and relax. There is always a solution, and for me, it was a pretty small thing, but an important step in completing the challenge of three days as Jason. With these new tools in my arsenal, I will start my next project with a bit more ease. Sometimes I make strange things and put them on the camera. If you like to get your own look and make your own lenses, hit this.